Good day, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another edition of Update News. Now, today's hot topic is consoles get huge 15% performance boost for Norman Sky. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the latest and greatest hot fix has finally been pushed over to the public branch and is now live on all platforms. Very exciting stuff. Now, before we do get into that today and much more, can I just ask a massive, wonderful favor from your very good selves? Don't forget to leave a like on this very video. It really does does help me out as a content creator to grow but also helps this information this video get out there into the wider youtube space also don't forget as well to double check your subscriptions for me and if you do need to resubscribe then please do resubscribe and if you have been watching me for a while and you like what i do then why not consider hitting that subscribe button you definitely will not regret it anyway ladies and gentlemen let's get right on into today's video now yesterday afternoon mr murray released this hotfix 5.03 is releasing now on all platforms with lots of fixes and improvements and if we just have a quick look at all the fixes here now you can pause the video if you want to read this yourself but it is from the experimental branches that we've already covered in previous videos as on when they have released those into the experimental branches because these are all kind of like segments the way that it works so all this wasn't like done at once it's been over the course of maybe about a week now where they just keep adding more and more fixes to the pile before then they release a massive hot fix to all platforms it's usually the way they work so pause the video at any point and just read this at your own leisure unless you've already seen my previous videos and you'll know exactly what's included in this now, in relation to the hotfix post by Mr. Murray, I want to talk about this chap here called Martin. Now, Martin is a engine programmer for Hello Games and he works on Norman Sky. And no doubt, even though he doesn't have it on his public Twitter resume, if you will, no doubt he's also working on Light No Fire as well. However, he likes to make posts sometimes about updates and the work that he's personally put into it. And this is what Martin had to say. Just to add detail to some platform specifics with the 5.03 hotfix, which is the hotfix that Mr. Murray has put available now to all platforms. That's what he's talking about. Now, Xbox, Xbox One S and Xbox One X should gain around 15% performance from this patch. So incredibly good news, especially for the older variants of consoles. They have been lagging behind for quite a while. So 15% increase is huge. So that's absolutely amazing. So firstly, there was a regression around how we deal with virtual memory that was fixed. Secondly, some rework of the draw call overhead with some core engine submissions on new features like water and GPU instances got significantly improved. Martin, dear Martin. I'm going to pretend for a moment I understood every single word of that highly intellectual sentence because I literally did not understand most of that. But apparently, he did some wizard's programmer magic and bibbity bobbity boo it's been done so that's amazing uh, amd pc vr performance is now very much higher with new internal setting for how we deal with single pass stereo rendering i'm assuming that's audio stereo rendering no if it's pc vr then stereo is what the boffins call the the way that you see things it's like stereo, mono, whatever. What rendering quality was improved on most consoles and a very unfortunate bug that stopped form from working on PlayStation 5 was resolved. Yes, PlayStation 5 peeps, you now have form on your water. Congratulations. That amazing. Uh, joking aside, that, that's an amazing fix. I'm glad the PlayStation 5 peeps have their form back. But other than that, I mean, look at that. 15% improvement on an older gen console with the latest patch. And obviously, it's a very difficult update to run this because of all the new water physics and, and just the engine itself. It has become quite a beastly thing. However, a 15% improvement will be very much welcomed in the xbox community no doubt as well no word on the playstation 4 so i don't know if obviously he talks about like the virtual memory that was fixed and then the reworking of draw call overheads whatever that means again wizard talk here i have no idea what that means however 
If it's only applied for the Xbox, can't they do something similar for the PlayStation peeps as well for the PlayStation 4? Does that include the fixes for the PlayStation 4? And they're just they're still getting the performance increase, just not a 15% performance increase. I don't know how that works. So if anybody works in this kind of field, let me know in the comment section down below what this all means in layman's terms and, and explain it to me like an idiot because that's exactly what I am. That would be fantastic. But I mean, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day you can see that even after eight long years of development for no man's sky remember no man's sky was in development way before they went live with it before they went public with it so at the end of the day this game now unofficially anyway is way over a decade old at this point and even now hello games is still updating it with all of these amazing updates and fixes and it is just a wonderful wonderful time to be on no man's sky and especially if you've never played it or you've just never liked the look of it because of let's say the water wasn't quite up to scratch or whatever the case was that you didn't want to play i think with this latest update has given players a new like new and old as well has given them a new outlook on the game and i've really been enjoying going on to like water worlds especially like the stormiest ones that i can find and just really enjoying the water physics i mean i built lighthouses i've built ships i've built all sorts of stuff that normally i would never have touched with norman sky because there was never any point to doing that kind of stuff but now i feel rejuvenated in actually building things and doing things in norman sky that i never normally would so i mean let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all of these new updates as have you been playing Norman Sky differently since the Worlds Part 1 update? Have you been doing things that you wouldn't normally do because of the new engine like layout and the way that it now works? Let me know in the comment section down below. You know what to do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical and I will catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.